Hi, I'm Tom with GoMeasure 3D. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to scan an object that does not have a lot of geometry. Uh, so what's great about the Artex scanners is not only do they use geometry for the tracking, but they also use color and texture. Uh, so with these scanners, you do not have to place tracking dots on your object, nor do you have to spray uh, your object in order to pick up data. So real quick, I'm going to show you how we went about gathering data as detailed as this. So not only are we getting uh, the detailed red and the letters, but we're also getting the reflective material on this object. And we're seeing details all the way down to the expiration date here. Uh, so real quick, I will show you how I went about uh, scanning this object and then aligning it. So now that we're all plugged up, uh, there's a switch on the back side of the scanner. You press up once to start scanning and down once to stop. So real simple, now that I have my part here. All right, so you'll notice on the left side of the screen, uh, we have a graph. This shows how close or how far away I am to my part. That is extremely important when scanning. Uh, so now that I understand my field of view, I just press up once to start scanning. And you'll notice that we are grabbing a little bit of the table, uh, but like you saw on the model, that does not show uh, when you're totally done with scanning. Also, you notice that I did grab the underside of this can. Simply all you have to do is pick it up, flip it over, and then align your two scans. Alright, and with a part like this, uh, post-processing and editing, you're probably looking at about three to five minutes. Um, but because this part is so small and simple, it did take me a little bit less time. But you see here, uh, real, this is the rough, raw scan data. Uh, we do have the table, we also have some outlying noise, but all of that can be handled quickly. Uh, I'm not going to run through the entire autopilot, but I will show you how to erase uh, data such as the base and how easy that is. So we just simply go into our editing tool, select our base, and once that is selected, we simply hit erase. And then if I were to need to grab the other side of the scan, I would simply flip it over and scan the top of that, align these two scans, and this is what you are left with. Again, this took maybe three to five minutes. And there you go, there's your full 3D model. Thanks for watching.